Hi everyone, this is Ramesh from Informatica. This video is about to show you how to decrypt a PGP encrypted data files sent by the partners in MFT. So as said, the agenda of this video is to cover how do we decrypt the PGP encrypted data files sent to us by the partners uh, using MFT. So the high level steps I'll be covering over this demonstration will be generating a self-signed user certificate then export the open pgp key from that certificate and share it with the partners and then the partner would encrypt the data files using this uh, open pgp key and the fourth step would be to configure a mailbox in mft using the certificate uh, so that the encrypted files from the partner would get decrypted when it reaches to our mailbox. So um, let me j just show you a quick demo and we can go over each of these steps and hopefully uh, things will be more clearer. Alright, so the first step was to create a self-signed certificate, right? So uh, we can create a self-signed certificate using this certificate option uh, certificate manager uh, click on the users right click here say generate self-signed user certificate enter the information here so let me just name it as test underscore decrypt and email address organization I'll say as Informatica then city we don't necessarily have to fill in all this information but just you can uh, skip this one as well now here we need to enter the private key password so this is the secret password which we only will know uh, we don't have to share it with the uh, any of your partners so what you share with the partner is basically the open PGP public key and uh, you keep the password the private key password with you and using this private key you basically finally will dec uh, decrypt the encrypted files when uh, when the partner send you the encrypted files so just choose here a password and click here on the generate open PGP and say OK so this will create a user certificate it takes a while I think it's done so OK so this is the certificate is created you see here open PGP encryption algorithm etc now second step was to uh, export the open PGP key public key which can be shared with the partners so to do that what you do is select that user certificate right click on say export and then select open PGP keys select the first one which is says open PGP public key now you have to enter your private key password to export this public key so let me just enter the password here and say export so this basically uh, will uh, uh, create a dot zip file under which will have a key with extension dot asc and this is what we have to share with the partners so this is the exported pgp key file so let me extract it here oops yeah so let me extract here okay so this is the key which we need to share with the partners so the partner would then use this key and encrypt the data files and then send it to you so I have one file which uh, got encrypted using this open PGP key now let me show you how uh, how can we uh, configure the mailbox so that to decrypt that uh, file and uh, get you the uh, 
uh, actual data file. So let me show you the encrypted file which I received from the partner. So if I open this file, it's an encrypted file. It's an encrypted PGP file. So now I need to decrypt this file. So let me uh, go ahead and create a mailbox and uh, uh, associated uh, associate my private key to that mailbox, and then uh, we'll try to uh, decrypt this file. So for that, what we do is let me first create. Um, mailbox so I'm going to create a mailbox of generic FTP type FTP type clone and activate okay so I'm going to name it as uh, test underscore decrypt and server name is ironwood dot informatica dot com okay and um, say inbox is home mft say inbox and um, outbox is again home slash rjh slash mft slash outbox click on apply and then I go ahead and configure the mailbox so here the username and password to log into the server and then click on the packaging tab so this is where we can configure uh, the certificate for uh, the logic uh, to decrypt the file so here in the packaging option we have open pgp and XML encryption I'm going to choose open pgp uh, and then here um, since uh, I want to decrypt the file so I select here decrypt inbound and then I need to choose here the certificate and then the private key password for that so click on the browse and uh, since test underscore decrypt it was the certificate that we had created earlier select say ok and enter the private key password for this Okay, so in this is just the encryption, it's not a force signature, so I'm going to check out this one and click on OK. Say apply. Okay. And say let me click on the receive and say get employee star say apply so this will get the employee dot that, that file which is an encrypted file from the mailbox home directory into the inbox directory so if I go here this file is in the home directory of the mailbox and uh, if I go here inbox nothing is here right so uh, if I click on the receive option here this will basically copy this uh, it will decrypt this uh, move uh, employee dot that file and then move it to the inbox directory so let me go ahead and click here say receive okay so here what we see message as um, uh, being unpackaged with encrypted open BGP byte unpackaged and then you see success and then quit so let me go here and now if I look for there's a file here with the same file name but if I do a cat of this file now I can see the data proper data so earlier it was showing as an encrypted data now using this um, we have been able to uh, decrypt the data so that's pretty much I wanted to cover on this uh, demonstration so just to recap the thing what we learn about it today is if you have to decrypt of open PGP key file open KGP uh, open PGP data file sent by your partners 
um, the steps that you would basically like to cover would be first you uh, generate a open PGP uh, first you generate a self sign certificate then you export the open PGP key from that certificate now distribute this open PGP key with your or your partners and then partners will use this key to encrypt the data files and then fourth was the uh, fourth step is to configure your mailbox uh, and using uh, the this, this certificate and then private key and then you would be able to decrypt the file that's pretty much I wanted to cover on this uh, demonstration I hope this is little useful for you if you have any feedback uh, please send us uh, your feedback to support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us at twitter.com slash info support thanks for watching this video thanks